Well, my friends, I need to do my uh, May video blog. Uh, it's almost the 1st of May, and uh, man, where has this year going? So what I like to do, my friends, is I like to shoot uh, a video that uh, basically tells you what I uh, finished in the month of April and what I plan to do in the month of May. But I want to do that uh, after uh, these messages from my sponsor. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. Well, my friends, uh, I'm basically coming to you from my office chair where I do a lot of my work at. And basically, I want to just recline and just spend a little time visiting with you. I think that's going to be a cool thing. So I spend a lot of time and in front of me uh, is my uh, my laptop. I spend a lot of time uh, looking uh, through uh, things uh, um, from my laptop. Uh, um, I write everything on on my laptop, and uh, I write my books and uh, the slides for the, for the PowerPoints that you see on my videos. But what I really, really have enjoyed doing, my friends, is I ordered a uh, a Holy Bible with the easy to read version of the Bible, and uh, I've been shooting. Uh, I think I've shot two or three or four of. Um, command scriptures uh, with this uh, um, version of the Bible. <clears throat> this uh, version of the Bible is an easy to read version. On the back cover of this, uh, it has uh, like a binocular look uh, looking at the world and it says sharing God's message with people everywhere in a simple and natural way. And then there's a scripture on the back of this Bible that says uh, with every step you take Think about what the Lord wants, and He will help you go the right way. And that's out of Proverbs uh, 3, verse 6. My uh, focus is to be a spiritual guide. I don't want to preach to you. I think there's enough people on um, YouTube and Facebook that, that will preach to people. Oh, that's not my, my uh, vision or my purpose or my mission to preach to you. But being a spiritual guide, you know I'm a spiritual health consultant. And when I got this book, I opened up the first, very first page of the book, and I was really surprised about what I see. And so I want to share this with you. It says that uh, God answers you in tough times. So being a spiritual health consultant, it was amazing that uh, this is what I opened up when I checked this book out. So it says, uh, the first thing it says is God knows about your worries. And then there's a scripture that I can go to that talks about that. That's a pretty good uh, teaching video, isn't it? The next thing it says is God knows about your troubles. Again, that's a pretty good thing. God listens to your call for help. That's why I started this Heart to Heart Refinement Ministries uh, and this YouTube channel is because I had a call for help and uh, God answered that uh, cry for help. And then it says, uh, God can give you peace in your mind. And then there's a scripture that talks about that. Again, that's a pretty cool concept. Okay. And it says, God will protect you. We need that right now with what we're doing uh, in this uh, um, virus thing that we're dealing with. We need some protection right now. Then it says, God watches over you. I'm glad that God watches over me. How about you? And it says, God will be with you. So that's very enlightening um, um, that uh, this book came. And I had to really search for this. This is a used book, as you can kind of see from the edge of the paper. And uh, I couldn't find a brand new one. So this uh, has a copyrighted date of uh, um, 2005. That's the copyright date of this. But I have to read my reading, use my reading glasses to, to read this. It's kind of um, pretty small. Uh, print as you can see but nonetheless my friends I think it's an easy version and uh, I like to be able to talk to people from an easy to understand version I like to talk to teens my channel is uh, for adults only and the reason my channel is for adults only my friends is because uh, 
the age restriction on uh, the YouTube channel. So the YouTube channel basically sets the age of, of adults at 18 years old, but I think 13 year olds can understand my YouTube channel and what I'm doing, but I think that needs to be under the guidance of the parents. So let me talk to you a little bit about what's been going on. Uh, before I talk about May, I wanna talk about uh, um, what I done for the month of April. So. So in the month of April, uh, I just got done uh, shooting uh, command number 262 on the playlist. And so far I have about 10 videos done on that playlist. That's what I did in the month of April. I wanna talk about the commands of Jesus for a little bit. My friends, we are called to go on this great commission. We are called to go and uh, make disciples. So the first thing we're called to do is go. And then we're called to make disciples. Then we're called to baptize them. And then we're called to teach them all the commands that Jesus instructed his disciples to go out and to teach to all the nations. My friends, I believe that this uh, is a valuable playlist that we need to understand. Okay? But you cannot go out and make disciples if you're not a disciple yourself. So what does it mean to be a disciple yourself? Okay, that's something that you're going to have to figure out uh, as you watch my videos, okay? So another thing I did uh, on my uh, um, April um, YouTube channel is I, is I filmed and edited and uploaded a video called I Seen God. That's probably been my most powerful uh, video so far, as far as views and uh, the watch hours on that video. Uh, that's a true story that happened to me, and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. And uh, I, I have nothing else to say about that except uh, go watch that video, and uh, you'll see that link up above me there. Um, the next thing I did uh, that I, is a really great thing is a day in the life of an online pastor. So basically, I explained uh, what I do when I get up in the morning and everything I do in my office and uh, the breaks that I take during, during the day, and you got to see that. So that's very important. So, But with that comes, uh, I have to maintain my personal uh, health. I got to maintain my uh, marriage with my wife, and uh, that's, that's important. That's important that I take care of me in my relationship so I can be healthy to take care of you. Being a spiritual health consultant is more than just about sharing the Word of God with you. It's about sharing what is healthy and explaining what is not healthy. And I'm going to be doing a, uh, a, a video on um, identifying those things that are not healthy for us spiritually. We need to understand what spiritual sickness is. And I believe that we need to, uh, to look into a video that explains that to people. So I'm going to be doing that. So, um, so in the month of May, what I want to do, my friends, is I want to continue um, the playlist series on the great uh, commands of Jesus Christ. And I figured I'm doing about 35 to 40 um, scriptures in each uh, um, video that I do. And so if I'm going to go through 1,050 of those, I figure I'm going to have to do 14 more of those videos. And as you can tell, right here is my calendar, and uh, I do a lot of uh, things uh, on my calendar to schedule what I'm going to do. So uh, I do uh, videos uh, on Tuesdays, and you can see the, the rundown on here. I also do uh, videos every Friday at 11 a.m., and you can see that, uh, what's going on. I chose to do this in front of my desk where I spent all my time, so you guys can see what... Uh, I'm basically where I'm sitting. So if you used to walk into my office in my home, this is what you would see. Okay, this is a stable that I painted on my wall. It's a bit about a two-dimensional painting. And uh, the wall actually comes this way. So there's a, a dimension right here, and then there's a dimension right here. And then uh, I just uh, knocked off and broke my little cross. But uh, I'll put another one up there. But it's important that you see that. But uh, I want you to know... Not that I purposely dropped my cross, but uh, maybe God wants me to put another one there, and that's fine too. But uh, that could be the manger that Jesus was born in. What's the significance of that manger? The manger is always open. Um, it uh, is a humble beginning for Jesus, right? So um, it really bothers me that I broke my cross. It's been broke before, and, and I glued it, and I think that's where the glue has uh, broke from. So there's the little piece, and... Uh, 
I'll sweet tuck my wife in and glue that back on for me. I'll put it back on the wall. No big deal. No, no problem done. But uh, she makes some pretty awesome crosses. I'll have to have her do a little video and uh, she can show uh, her crosses and some of the projects that she's made. I think that'd be pretty cool. So let me explain to you what else I plan to do in the month of May uh, besides uh, um, con continuing the play this series on the commands of Jesus. So there's some things that I want to refilm, and I want to refilm uh, stage one uh, course video. It's a sales video. So basically, my friends, I do a uh, a video sales video that goes on my uh, sales page on my online school. So I believe that a video says more than a thousand words because you can see me, you can see where I do the uh, the teachings at, and you can see my body language if I'm if if I'm passion about what I'm doing I want you to see that and you can't really see that in the word so I'm going to redo that one and also I did a, a stage two uh, um, course video sales and I want to reshoot that one too and I'll I'll be putting those uh, on YouTube and uh, Facebook and the reason that I'm reshooting those my friends is I redesigned the book covers okay the book covers uh, needed to fit more about the stages of what I'm doing. So I thought that was important that you all see that. So it's important for me to do that. And this online school is very, very important. And uh, I've had a couple of people that have actually taken this uh, online course and actually reviewed it and made some comments on it. And I urge you to go check out those free courses. I really, really like what this online school has to offer my friends. Uh, um, here's another uh, video that I did uh, that talks about what the online school is, but my friends, you can comment uh, on the comments in there. You can read other people's comments. You can comment back to them. I think that's powerful. And uh, my friends, being I'm married, and a lot of you that might be watching this are married or want to be married, so I think what I want to do is I want to make some marriage and enrichment uh, instructional videos. So marriage enrichment, I believe, uh, we can go in a relationship and uh, get married and, and just exist in that marriage. And I think that's not what God wants us to do. I think God wants us to build that marriage. And I think God wants us to use that marriage to glorify Him. So how do we do that? How do we do that as a couple? So what I've done, my friends, is I've created a, uh, a worksheet on... Uh, what your purpose and your mission is in life. So just like in business, my friends, we have to have a purpose and a mission statement, just like in a ministry. So when I wanted to start my 5013C, I had to have a purpose and a mission statement. And if you go to my website, heartheartrefinementministries.org, you'll see my purpose and my mission statement on there. So I believe every man, woman, and child and when I consider child, I consider somebody that's uh, over the age of 13. I believe that they need to have a purpose and a mission. Okay, so what I've created is I've created a worksheet that will be put into a Word document that I'll put into a PDF format that I'll be able to share in the video description so you guys can take and uh, write out what a purpose and a mission statement is. And then what I want you to do, if you're married or if you're in a relationship, I want you to write out what your purpose is and your mission in that marriage. That's what God wants us to do. He wants us to use our marriage to glorify Him. He wants us to have a purpose of why we are getting married, why we are in that marriage, but He also wants us to have a mission. Okay, what is the purpose of being married. What is the mission? A mission is a venture, a journey that we go on. We need to understand that, okay? Another thing that I did is, you know, I've got a spiritual health checkup form and I did a video on that too. And uh, you can see that video up there. But what I'd like to do is I also would like to make um, a monthly marriage health checkup, okay? I've already created the form and my wife and I have already used this. And basically, uh, it has uh, five questions on there. You say, yes, it's working good, or it needs work. If it needs work, you write out a comment on there, and you give that to your, to your spouse for them to read what your comment was. That way, you get out everything that is on your mind, everything that's on your heart to share with, with your spouse, and you get it out. You get to write it down, right? And then 
that partner has two choices. They can either throw it in the trash can or they can read it and they can make improvements on there. If you check mark needs improvement and you make the comments on what needs to be changed so you can have peace and contentment in your marriage, that person has, has two choices. They can throw it in the trash and forget about it or they can read it and they can say, okay, I'll make these changes because you're going to do another one each month on your anniversary date. Our anniversary was, uh, we got married on the 20th, so we do it on the 20th of every month. I think that's important. But I also believe that the purpose and the mission of why we are married and why we want to stay married should be part of that. Okay. Another uh, video that I want to do is spiritual health awareness. Uh, a lot of people don't really understand what spiritual health is. We look at our relationship with Jesus Christ or God as religion. And that's not right. That's a relationship that we need to be looking at it. And our spiritual health is a big part of that. So my friends, I'd like you to think about what spiritual health is. Not so much religion, but your spiritual health. And the only way that you're going to get spiritually healthy is to have that relationship with Jesus Christ, okay? That's the only access to God. That's the only access to heaven, okay? So my friends, uh, those are the things that, that I wanted to do. And uh, this uh, virus has uh, really created a social division. Uh, my, my plan and my purpose was to take my A-frame sign to the hospital and set up a, a table and raise a spiritual health awareness at the hospitals. And I had a meeting with the chaplain and uh, the next step was to get all my stuff presented so we could put this in front of the hospital directors. And then the hospital directors would have uh, given me permission, hopefully, prayfully, to uh, set a table up there and raise awareness on spiritual health awareness. Spiritual health is not religion, my friends. It's a relationship with Jesus Christ, but it's a, about identifying those things that are not working spiritually that are causing spiritual sickness. The wounds that other people create in our life can also be a form of spiritual sickness. We need to understand that. If we're not healthy in our marriage, my friends, that's a form of spiritual sickness. So how do we get healthy in our marriage? We need to understand what the, the, the 10 things are that create spiritual sickness and we can make those things healthy in our marriage then we have a chance to make our marriage last a lifetime but to make that last a lifetime my friends it takes trust it takes communication and it takes commitment from both people so my friends I look for those uh, videos uh, in the month of May and uh, if you would like me to do a video series on a certain topic, let me know in the comments below. One thing that I thought about doing was uh, doing a video series on discernment. We have to understand how to discern certain things. And I think doing a video um, series on how do we discern good and bad, right and wrong, evil or good, okay? We have to know how to discern these things. And how do we discern how our spouse is feeling? How do they discern how we are feeling? How do we discern how our children are feeling? Sometimes we gotta ask, but sometimes we wanna hold that inside because we don't wanna start a, a conflict. But discernment is a big thing. And, and learning how to read body language, learning how to read the, the signs that are around you is important. So that's part of spiritual health. And that's a part of me being a spiritual guide. I'm not a, I'm not going you know, to preach to you. I'm not a pastor that does that. I'm a spiritual health consultant. Some people call me a spiritual doctor. That's, that's what I want to do. I want to heal your spiritual heart so that you may have peace and you may have it more abundantly and that you may have contentment and unity with those people in your life. All right. So thank you for watching my uh, main video blog. And uh, when I get ready to do those, uh, marriage uh, relationship uh, PDFs. They'll be uh, linked uh, um, in the video when I do it. And then they'll also be on my website underneath the video blogs. It's the only way I can make them available to uh, my uh, followers out in the, in the public land is uh, to put those PDFs uh, on my website and that makes it public. And so then I can link it. So thank you for watching my video, my friends. And uh, if you'd like to subscribe to get a notification of every time I post a video, that'd be great. And my friends, if you like my videos, if you give me a thumbs up, that would be great too. 
and share my videos with your family and your friends. And uh, that helps them to understand what spiritual awareness is as well. So thank you again. May God bless you. May his face shine upon you. And may Jesus always bring you joy. I'll be seeing you in the next video.